Welcome back guys. And in this lesson, what we're going to be talking about is the new Hello World application. We're going to build kind of the second version of it. And if you didn't build the first one, that's totally okay. Um, basically in the first version, all that we did, this was actually the first application that we created in the course. And basically all it did was it just said Hello World at the top. It had one text input with a button at the bottom and you could type a name into the input. And once you click submit, it would update and say Hello Cole or Hello whatever name you put in. Um, so the thing that's going to make this application a little bit different is that now we've got an additional input, which is an age input. Uh, and we can put anything we want in here. We could put, in this case, I jokingly put 4.5 billion years old because that's how old the world is. Um, but we could put anything. We could put 25, click submit. You're 25 years old. Uh, we could put Cole up here. And if we put that, it's going to say, hello, Cole, you're 25 years old. Now that's just the start of it. The next part of this that's gonna make this really unique and kind of the whole purpose of this module is if we were to close out this application entirely and we kill it from the task manager and we open it back up, we're gonna see that it still says colon 25 and that's because we have local storage implemented now. This is gonna be another one of those really cool and fundamental things that we need to know to be a good and successful iOS developer. Storing things in local storage and having it persist whenever you come back to the application is really important. By default, without using local storage, we wouldn't be able to do this at all. There's no way you'd be able to kill the application in the task manager, come back and still see your name and age there. It wouldn't be possible. So by using local storage, we can accomplish that. So this is, like I said, just gonna be one of those really important tools that we're gonna have available to us going forward. Uh, and this is gonna be, in this module, one of many ways to actually implement local storage. But I wanna focus on the I'm going to say more simple way, um, but really it's super powerful and there's a lot that we can do with it. So just one more little tool in your arsenal. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's jump into the next module and let's get coding.